The review is about taking a bigger picture look at inequality. In fact, at inequalities, we would say. That is, there are many types of inequality. Even among economists, we focus on lots of different things, whether it be the earnings of someone in the labor market, the income of a family, uh, the wealth of that family or that individual. So there are many economic measures of inequality, but there are many broader measures that social scientists, political scientists and others look at that we want to bring into this review and look at them in a kind of holistic way. Now is a good time for this review. We've had this quite long period of increasing inequalities that are now well documented but we haven't really got to the bottom of what's driving them. We've had a, pe a long period since the last recession. Many of the things that we might think would be corrected after a few years after recession haven't been. We now think some of the inequalities are rather long-term changes in society, not things that relate really to what economists would call business cycles. These are things that seem to be going over a long period, 30 years or more. And we've now got quite a lot of evidence. We can look across different countries where these trends have been happening and happening differently and try and put together the pieces of all that and really understand uh, what's going on. I think the best outcome uh, of this review would be to have one is to really get a better understanding of what's going on there and uh, perhaps even an, a better understanding of what it is about inequality that really upsets people and, and you know, what should we be looking at there in terms, of, uh, in terms of policies that will make people better off 